so I can't go anywhere for two minutes. This guy's dumping trash into the truck. A little late, but I'm not one to talk. A little late for coffee for me, but we're doing it. And now there's a conversation happening in front of it. And I'm just going to sit here because what, what else would I do, I guess? Yeah, I'm pretty fucked. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Ah. Um, my morning, <laughs> I spent a solid hour and a half listening to some lady who apparently wanted solar, but good God, it's, she, she wants a friend. <laughs> she wants, she, she needs a friend. Um, yeah, talk about everything from shitty contractors to her life growing up in Vermont and yeah just a lot of how she got COVID and blah 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 just kept going and like conversation they're usually only like five minutes at that rate she still hasn't sent me her like hey we're moving her electric bill which she said she was gonna do fucking liar Beep, 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 beep. I want out. Somebody let me out. Red car. Red car, let me out. Thank you, red car. Thank you. Get me off this waterfront. I just need to exercise. I kind of want to eat some food, too. I don't know why I'm hungry. I ate enough last night for sure. But we're off. We need to do some mobility and then I'll come home and then I'll eat some lunch and solar appointment in South Plymouth and then jujitsu. But yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And I woke up at like 4 a.m. Probably didn't really fall asleep till about six-ish, and even that was kind of duty sleep. And then, about 7.30, my alarm goes off. Well, first Erica's went off at seven. Then mine went off at 7.30. So at that point, it's kind of like, a, I am gonna get another hour of sleep. I was like, I'm not. I'm not waking up to do my morning routine. Said I'll just, you know, do this phone interview that I've been scheduled for 9 a.m. and then I will, uh, then I'll do my morning stuff. Little did I know, Karen. Oh shit, that was really her name. Karen had different plans for me. She even did say, "Hey, now I don't need a therapist." You're welcome, Karen. Glad I could be of assistance. Glad I could help Karen. <laughs> but then it was about 10.45, pack up for the gym. And then it was kind of like, a, all right, let's get going. Showered to all that. Just like, man. A little off without that morning routine, but what are you gonna do? You gotta sometimes the Karens of the world just need a friend, you know? They're not truly a Karen. Well, she truly is a Karen, that's her legal name, but maybe they're not really a Karen. Why is it still shaking? Violently shakes. Not all Karens are Karens because. They're shitty Karens. Sometimes people that behave like a Karen are a Karen because they need a friend. They just need someone to tell them, hey man, it's all right. Yeah, your story sucks. You're treated shittily. I get it. There's a lot of shitty stuff for her. I didn't follow half of it, if I'm being honest. I mean, there's a lot. 
she seemed to feel better after talking to me. I'm glad I could help. Sometimes people just need a friend. They need a little love and compassion. That's all we need. Just a little extra love, a little extra compassion. Just, I've said it before, I'll say it again. To be heard is to be loved. And it's not that I necessarily love this lady from Martha's Vineyard. But I'll listen. I'll be her ear. And you know what? That'll make the world a better place. Because I'm not upset or anything. My day's still going swimmingly. Still hasn't sent me your electric bill, but that's okay. Good karma. I went over to a place I get coffee at. So, like, we're all out of cold brew. Because it's late. It's late in the after... Well, late in the after morning. And I was like, oh shit and then they did the whole let me go check in the back and then there was some whispering to the manager the manager was like yeah whatever she saw it was me the person that comes there fucking daily for coffee what they said is that they have cold brew but it is a cold brew that they typically use for smoothies so they poured it for me and then they say hey just so you know it's a little strong it's fucking really strong. It's like the concentrate. Like I, I know it's a sin. But I don't think I'm finishing this shit. Why are you shaking? Uh, it was brought to my attention this morning that I have reached beyond number 50. Oh, God, it's killing my stomach already. Uh, 50 of these. Need a new thing for my phone though. Maybe it's a little something there. Maybe it's that one. Uh -huh. Didn't make a fucking difference, huh? Maybe, maybe it's turned a little bit. Maybe it's back. Oh my god, my stomach is getting chewed apart by cold rope. Well, I did get to list off a bunch of things I'm grateful for, and I definitely included this beautiful weather, beautiful sunny weather, included my loved ones around me, my very special Erica, very special friends. Um, yeah, a lot more stuff that I can't remember. I'm grateful that. I don't live Karen's life. But I'm grateful that I was able to help Karen. And, you know, I hope that she has a better day just because someone fucking listened to her for an hour and a half. So, she's going solar because I need to get paid for my time. Uh, therapists make a lot of money. I need to uh, recoup my losses. Time is... Time is money, friend. All right. Well, I hope you as well lend your ear to someone that needs it. And not because you're getting paid. Or not because you have ulterior motives. But just because someone needs a fucking friend. Could have easily hung up on Karen. Hey, Karen, got an appointment. Got a jet. Was a pleasure. Hey, send your bill. Take care. Bop, 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 bop. She may never send her bill. We may not move forward with probably, we probably can, I don't know if we can even go on the vineyard. I gotta make that call. Um, but you know what? If it brightened her day, it'll brighten the people around her. I hope. So do the same for the Karens in your life. Support your local Karen. They need a hug. Kill them with kindness. They're being a little annoying shit. Give them a hug. Hey man, who hurt you? It's okay. Still love you. Alrighty, number 51, holy shit, it was my football number back in the day. I hope you have a wonderful day. Support your local Karens.